It's our gold and we want it back. That's the message being sent by the world's central banks, emphasizing not only the need to own gold, but to control their gold reserves. Economic uncertainty means you have to keep up with what's happening. Make sure you subscribe and we'll keep you in the know. For decades, the standard procedure for governments and central banks was to store their gold reserves outside their borders. One reason is security. Some nations believe stashing gold in multiple locations helps keep their inventory safe. Practical necessity is another reason gold is stored in other countries. Nations that purchase large quantities of gold through global trading centers such as London and New York find that it makes sense to keep their metals convenient to those cities. Plus, shipping all that gold back home can present significant logistical and security challenges. But those views appear to be changing. According to the annual Invesco Global Sovereign Asset Management Study, more governments and central banks are starting to say it's time to bring our gold home from foreign storage. The survey results reveal that three years ago, 50% of governments and central banks kept their gold at home. Now that percentage is up to 68% and survey respondents say that five years from now, it will be nearly 75%. According to the data, the current surge in gold repatriation was triggered by Western sanctions lodged against Russia following its invasion of Ukraine. Those sanctions included a freeze of nearly half of Russia's $650 billion dollars in gold and foreign exchange reserves. The survey noted that a substantial percentage of central banks are concerned about the precedent set by the U.S. freezing of Russian reserves, with the majority, 58%, agreeing that the event has made gold more attractive. In 2013, Germany made headlines when it started taking back possession of the gold it was storing in the U.S. and France. By 2017, the Bundesbank, Germany's central bank, had repatriated nearly 750 metric tons of gold from New York and Paris. Although speculation ran rampant as to why Germany was bringing home its gold, the Bundesbank said the real reason was simple to build trust and confidence domestically. When the Central Bank of Netherlands repatriated a significant portion of its gold from the U.S. in 2014, officials there said the move would have a positive effect on public confidence. And in 2019, when Poland's Central Bank repatriated 100 metric tons of gold from the Bank of England, the Polish central bank governor declared, Gold symbolizes the strength of the country. Interesting, right? If central banks worldwide see gold as essential for their stability, shouldn't we be taking a cue? The perceived importance of gold repatriation in underscoring sovereign strength is evident in this year's Invesco survey as well. One respondent clarified, We've now transferred our gold reserves back to our own country to keep it safe. Its role now is to be a safe haven asset. After reviewing this material, I had to ask myself, if central banks the world over are relying on gold to help ensure the stability of their monetary system, isn't that something that we should be thinking about as well? And if you're as intrigued as I am about what all this could mean for your own financial future, then join us for our educational webinar, 
where we dive even deeper into this topic. Go to AugustaPreciousMetals.com webinar or click on the link in the description.